Hey guys, Icy Cat here. The next Rainbow Six event has been leaked, and it looks like we're going to the stadium for a highly competitive mode with a new map, skins, and more. Let's take a look at all the information that's come out next. First up, full credit for this goes to at Rollinoli1 on Twitter who posted this gameplay video. So we can see that this is the next event that we have. He also gives some text information to go along with this video, but he says that we are essentially getting a new invitational game mode event. This will be a bomb only mode. It will have pick and ban and uses invitational rules, probably pretty similar to the Road to Six Invitational event that came out about a year ago. Like other events, this will use custom skins centered on the event itself. Since this is set in a sports stadium and tied to the Six Invitational, all the skins have that same kind of sports theme. Additionally, there will be custom cards, custom end screen animations, and custom voice lines that have been cut for this mode. Now, like other recent events, we do get a little short cutscene here that sort of sets up the event before it launches. We saw this most recently with Doctor's Curse, just having a short few second intro animation before the round kicked off. Now, one of the things you can tell right away when we get into the match is that we actually have this set up in the center of a sports stadium, and it's almost like a kill house that's been established. You can see that there are competitive scoreboards all over the place on the border of the stadium, as well as another supported structure over the center of the stadium. And these keep the actual time of the round. So that is a live timer that corresponds with the actual in-game timer, and the scoreboards will update to reflect the live score totals. The map itself looks like it's set up as kind of a training facility, sort of a kill house or something like that. Now, this is going to have a lot of themes that are reminiscent of old Hereford base. And as you run around the map, you can see some of the tie-ins that are there. It's not a one-for-one -one clone. In fact, it looks like there's bits and pieces of different maps that sort of have a feel that's been put into this one. You can see elements that feel like old Hereford base. You can see elements that feel like Oregon or perhaps something from Cafe. It feels like it's kind of a mashup of various different maps that are already in the game, sort of all combined into this newly textured map. Now, as far as we can tell, this is only a map for this event. Year five, season one will probably launch with its own different map and this will not be it. We've seen for other Rainbow Six events that they've taken existing maps and modified them. For instance, you would get the modified map for House on the Madhouse event, or you'd get the modified Doctor's Curse Castle for the old theme park variation, taking existing maps and just sort of tweaking them a little bit for the event. Rainbow as Magic saw a complete retexture for plane, things like that. Then you would have events that were more in the vein of the Wild West shootout, where that was a map completely designed only for that event, but it was very small, very specialized. It was not a map that would translate into standard gameplay. This is the first time that we've really seen a completely brand new map. And again, it does use what seems like a theme that kind of ties into some highlights of older maps, but it's still a completely new way to put everything together and repackage it. It looks nothing like any existing map, even if some of the layouts do feel reminiscent. So this is probably the first time that we would have a map created for an event that could arguably make the jump into something that we could see into a regular playlist after the event is over. We have no idea if it would or not, but it's enough of a new map with a new layout that it could and it would be viable, unlike, say, the Wild West map. So will this wind up being some kind of a bonus map that we might be able to get into, say, a casual playlist or maybe even something like just a custom game playlist if it appears no place else? That would be really cool. So with Bomb on Stadium being the next event that's coming up, we can expect to be getting more information on this mode very soon. This is also one of the first events in recent memory that takes something that isn't really silly and puts it more into the competitive arena of the game, making this less of a goof around mode and more like something that's actually viable for sustained gameplay. But what do you guys think? Does this look like the kind of event that you would get excited for? Or do you prefer more of the silly events where you just get to goof around and have fun and not take it too seriously? Let me know down in the comments below. You can also share with me over at IcyCat25 on either Facebook or Twitter. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.